You're watching Seahawks Today, powered by Chat Sports. Tyler Jones here. Thanks for joining us as it is time for Mock Draft 2.0. I will give you my picks for all seven rounds for your Seattle Seahawks in this April's NFL Draft. What we've done is we have run through the Pro Football Focus Simulator. PFF made all the picks for the 31 other teams. And then I made all the selections for the Seattle Seahawks. And I got to tell you, just to kind of set the scene here, is that there are some big surprises. The way the board unfolded for me today, it worked out pretty dang well for your Seattle Seahawks. We'll dissect it here in just a bit. Before we do, who is the best Seahawks first-round pick of all time? If you had to narrow it down, who is the very best over the years? No wrong answers here. Just tell me who you think it is. Way in the comments section, let us know. The Seahawks with seven picks in this year's draft. It all begins at number 16 overall. Then two third-round picks at 78 and 81. A fourth-round pick at 118. A fifth-round pick at 150. A sixth-round pick at 193. And a seventh-round pick at 232. On this mock draft, we're not going to do any trades. We're just going to play as the board presents itself. Our needs that we're looking at, edge, defensive line, offensive line, defensive back, wide receiver, especially since we don't know about Tyler Lockett's future right now, quarterback, linebacker, tight end. We'll see what we can do to address all those needs here on today's show. The five picks leading up to the Seahawks selection at 16. The Vikings go with Byron Murphy out of Texas uh, at number 11. 12, the Broncos go with Quinion Mitchell, the corner out of Toledo. At 13, the Raiders go with Olu, the offensive tackle from Penn State. 14, the Saints go Dallas Turner, the edge rusher from Alabama. And at 15, the Colts go with Terry and Arnold, corner out of Alabama. So, who is on the board for the Seahawks when they pick at 16? A major shock, Jaden Daniels is still around based on how the simulator played out. And what you may be thinking, what type of situation would that have to require? Well, Drake May would have to be the second quarterback off the board. But then you look at some of the other teams that picked before the Seahawks, and they could go after a Justin Fields or a Kirk Cousins or a Russell Wilson and maybe pass on a quarterback this go-round. So – it's not as crazy as actually what you may think of Jaden being available there. Jared Verse, we like a lot. Well, two, Newton, we've talked a lot about. Powers Johnson, people in the Pacific Northwest are very familiar with, and the Seahawks need some help on the interior of the offensive line. So, who do the Seahawks pick? Dun, 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 dun. With the 16th overall pick in the 2024 NFL Draft. The Seattle Seahawks select Jaden Daniels, quarterback, LSU. And there is a parade on the streets of Seattle. We are jumping up and down for joy if somehow this happened. If the board fell this way, although quarterback's not our top priority, if Jaden Daniels is there, I can't say no. I don't know how the hell you would say no to Jaden Daniels if he's around when the Seahawks pick at 16. Last two seasons at LSU, prior to that was at Arizona State. The Seahawks did just hire his former QB coach from Arizona State, won the Heisman Trophy this past season after an incredible season with the LSU Tigers. Number two QB, number three overall player on Kuiper's big board. The scouting report, excellent athlete, excellent burst and agility, good ability to create a dangerous runner, just so athletic uh, as far as that goes. He's got creativity as a thrower outside the pocket and, a, and very good deep ball accuracy. Uh, when you have the weapons the Seahawks do of the likes uh, of DK Metcalf and JSN and others, you want to push the football down the field. Jaden Daniels has got that ability. And when we look at what he's done, the balance is both a passer and a runner. 40 touchdowns, four interceptions this past season. Extremely accurate, was efficient with his great receivers that he had, put them in positions to succeed with over 3,800 yards 
and still rush for 1,100 yards and 10 touchdowns. Jaden Daniels is that guy, and I would be thrilled if the Seahawks can pick him at number 16. Who? What do you guys think? Should the Seahawks draft Jaden Daniels? I mean, John Schneider had a combine meeting with him, so it's something the Seahawks are talking about right now. Weigh in the comment section. Let us know what you think. Why for yes, in for no. Next up, we go to the third round, 78th pick. That is where we find the Seahawks selecting edge rusher Gabriel Murphy with this pick. And I got to tell you, Gabriel Murphy is a very interesting prospect. This is somebody that graded out well every single year, according to PFF, at his position. Started his career with North Texas, spent the last two seasons at UCLA, was named an All-Pac-12 honorable mention, and was very consistent. Had at least half a sack in eight games this season, and had at least five tackles in every game this season. Impressive overall athlete. Uh, Nobody's going to argue that. He does a really good job keeping his legs moving. He's quick and athletic. Got a high motor, which is always something you want to hear about somebody you're looking at. The the big knock, kind of subpar on block recognition. He needs to kind of read what those offenses, the offensive lines are doing a little bit better than what he does right now. So here's the statistics, what we're talking about here with Murphy this past season. 38 tackles, eight sacks. Would like to see him get more involved when it comes to creating turnovers, but overall a very good player there. Next on the board for the Seahawks, we find Tavondre Sweat with the 81st overall pick out of the University of Texas. Some people are grading Sweat as a first-rounder. There's others that have him going as low as the third round with concerns about the uh, the size. He's over 360 pounds, but, I mean, he still turned that into being a unanimous All-American and Big 12 Defensive Player of the Year. So it worked well at the University of Texas. I would think that it would work well in the National Football League. And if he's available in the third round, I'll, I'll definitely take the chances on him. The Seahawks have had discussions about trying to fill the void in the interior of the defensive line. He's got a good build with a thick lower half. He shoots his hands straight. Um, he's hard to move, which you can imagine when you're that big, right? Solid against double teams as well, which is important with the Seahawks playing this 3-4 defense under Mike McDonald here. You can expect that he would take on a decent number of double teams there. He stops his feet on contact. Not necessarily great there, but uh, I do like everything else there when it comes to uh, our our man here, uh, Devontre Sweat. Now, uh, let's uh, go over the numbers you can see with uh, Sweat. Two sacks this past season, but it doesn't tell the full story. As, uh, I mean, just all those double teams he took on still was terrific. 45 tackles, just a really good year for him. Who's a player the Seahawks should draft? We've gone over a couple of these already. Now it's your chance to weigh in and tell us who you would like to see in a Seahawks uniform in 2024. We are your Seahawks draft headquarters here on Seahawks Today, and we're trying to reach our next milestone. 50.5 thousand subscribers, just over 150 subs away from reaching there. And we're going to tell you everything you need to know on the draft. We're doing these mock drafts, these player evaluations, telling you what's going on at the Combine, all the happenings on your Seattle Seahawks. We are your draft headquarters. No one's going to cover the draft like us here on Seahawks today. And I can guarantee you this, folks. No one loves college football more than I do. And the passion that you'll see on this channel about these college prospects and trying to find the top college talent to fit for your Seattle Seahawks, no one's going to cover it like we will here on Seahawks today. I can guarantee, I can guarantee you that. Subscribe now for free. All right, let's go to the fourth round now. That's where we find Bo Limmer, the center from the University of Arkansas, going to Seattle at 119. Evan Brown's hitting free agency. You do have Olu there, but... Olu's got the potential to play guard, so you can have some flexibility and move some things around here. PFF said that Bo Limmer was the number 27 overall player in all of college football heading into 2023. Kuyper's got him as the number eight center 
in this year's draft. He's rangy, a springy blocker. He excels on back blocks, fluid in making adjustments, uh, very good about thinking on the fly, creates space out of his stance, uh, but he does have minimal girth. Uh, Not ideal necessarily for that position, but for that type of value, I'll take it there in the fourth round uh, as far as that goes. We'll stay in the offensive line for this next pick. Arguably the best offensive lineman in all of college football this past season. Had a season-ending injury, but still high hopes for him at the next level. Zach Zinter, the offensive guard out of the University of Michigan, will take it the fifth round at 151 overall. A unanimous All-American, college football playoff, national champion, center, a tremendous leader for this Michigan Wolverines team. And really just kind of set the tone for a team that wanted to be physical, that wanted to run the football. Zenter was all that in a bag of chips for this Michigan Wolverines team. We mentioned he is coming off the injury, but even with that said, a solid run blocker. We know the Seahawks need to run the football and need to do it well. Good balance and pass pro. You're not getting a guy that's just a good run blocker. He can do both. Uh, He's tall. He's got long arms. And he's got some raw tools. He's got some things that uh, need to be worked on a bit, kind of like at a a beginning level, needs to to go from learner's permit to driver's license on some of his tool sets. Um, Too much of a waist bender uh, at times, but nonetheless, you get a whole lot more good than bad when it comes to Zach Center there. We'll wrap up this mock draft in a moment, but first let's ask you, what is the biggest need – in this year's draft for the Seattle Seahawks. Let us know in the comment section what you believe it is, the number one thing the Seahawks need to address. We go to the sixth round now at pick number 194. The Seahawks get some help at linebacker. We don't know what the linebacker position is going to look like for Seattle with uh, Jordan Brooks and Bobby Wagner on expiring contracts. And we've heard rumblings about Patrick Queen. Also, what about Devin Bush and all that? Well, sixth round, we go with Steel Chambers from Ohio State at 194 overall. And then we wrap up the draft. We get some help at tight end. Take a flyer on Tip Raymond at 233 to wrap up from the University of Illinois. So there you have it. Those are our picks. Let's give you a recap here of our selections. Got a home run pick with Jaden Daniels at 16 overall. Then, in the second round, we go with Gabriel Murphy, the edge rusher out of UCLA. We follow that up by getting Tavadre Sweat, the defensive uh, lineman from the University of Texas. Bo Lemmer, the center from Arkansas, we find at 119 overall, but he's not the only lineman we get. We get Zach Zenter, the offensive guard from Michigan at 151. Steel Chambers, linebacker from Ohio State at 194. And Tip Raymond, the tight end from Illinois at 230. Three. So, what do you guys think? How did I do? I found some tremendous value. Look, Jane Daniels at 16, no way in hell was I going to say no to that. Devontre Sweat, as late as he was in the third round, that's a win. Oh, and then the cap off thing, Zach Center, too? I think I did a, a, jo- a great job. I'd give myself an A+. Plus. Anything less than an A, you're a hater. Grade my mock draft. Let us know what you think. And we'll see you next time, right here on Seahawks.